Rediscovering Excellence, Understanding a Return to Form. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase in the English language, a return to form. This phrase is widely used in various contexts, from sports to entertainment and even in everyday conversation. So, if you've ever wondered what it means and how to use it, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. A return to form refers to regaining a previous level of performance, skill, or quality that was once typical. It's often used when someone or something that had been underperforming or experiencing a decline comes back to their usual high standard. Think of it like a football team that hasn't been winning games suddenly playing brilliantly again, or an artist whose recent work matches the brilliance of their earlier pieces. Let's look at different contexts where this phrase might be used. In sports, a tennis player who hasn't won a tournament in a while and then wins a major championship. In arts and entertainment, a movie director who produces a critically acclaimed film after a series of less successful movies. In personal development, an individual getting back to a healthy routine after a period of neglect. These examples show how a return to form can be applied in various scenarios, illustrating a resurgence or recovery to a previously known state of excellence. The phrase likely originated from the world of art and literature, where it would describe an artist or writer returning to their typical style or quality after a period of deviation or lesser work. Over time, its usage expanded to include any scenario involving a return to previously exhibited high standards. Remember, it's a positive phrase used to acknowledge improvement or recovery. Be cautious not to use this phrase in a situation where someone or something has always maintained a high standard. It's only appropriate when there's been a noticeable decline followed by a resurgence. And that's a wrap on a return to form. I hope this video has shed light on this interesting phrase and how you can use it accurately in different contexts. Remember, language is a window to understanding cultures and expressions, and phrases like these add color and depth to our conversations. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this helpful. Keep learning, and see you in the next video.